Hi, this is Chris Dreisbach from Prison for Kids, and this is Weird Ass Books. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about The Vegetarian by Han Kang, a Korean woman. This novel won the Man Booker International Prize. I'm not sure what year, because this was released in Korea in 2007, but didn't get an English translation until 2015. If you're a reader, that's really depressing that a book like this took eight years to get an English translation. Um, what's up with that? But I will say um, this title is probably like either it turns off a lot of people or turns on a lot of people. And I want to say like, tell both of those people that don't worry, this book isn't really about vegetarianism or do worry because this book isn't about vegetarianism, really. It's really a book about alienation. And the, the plot of the book is essentially that it's about this woman in her 30s, this married woman named Young Hai, when pronouncing that correctly. Well, first of all, I should say that the, the novel is, it's from the perspective of people in her life, and there's three different main pieces of it. The first act, I'll say, is from the perspective of her husband. The second act is from the perspective of her sister, or her brother-in-law, I should say. The third act is from the perspective of her sister. So the what gets the plot moving is that Young Hai, one night, has a really disturbing nightmare, which you get a, a few fragments of throughout the novel, where a visceral nightmare where at the end of the nightmare she decides in the middle of the night she's going to throw away all the meat in her house and she cannot have any meat and then it kind of just progresses from there there's kind of like a downward spiral um i'm not sure how anathema being a vegetarian is in korean culture i could kind of assume from reading this that it's somewhat close to like if you're living in the south of america or maybe if you're from mexico if you're vegetarian it's kind of like a bit of an eye roll or a little bit of like, whoa, okay. But um, needless to say, the people in her life, they find her vegetarianism to be off-putting. But it's really not about that. It's really not about animal rights or anything like that. It's really just about this woman's alienation. And you slowly get insight into sort of where her alienation comes from. But what I like about this book is that it doesn't, it defies a really obvious psychological interpretation. I feel like a lot of movies and books and art in general, they like to really telegraph, this is why this person is acting this way, because they suffered this kind of abuse or because they had this weird experience. But this book, I think, is much more akin to books of um, female alienation, especially kind of like The Yellow Wallpaper or uh, Sylvia Plath's The Bell Jar. But actually what I would compare it most to is, because of the perspective, is not for, it's not from her perspective, is um, Herman Melville's Bartleby the Scrivener. If you haven't read Bartleby the Scrivener, I, it's a short story by Herman Melville, and I think it's one of the greatest short stories of all time, and maybe one of the best uh, short stories of, about alienation. This is the first Korean book I've ever read. I know a lot of like the blurbs inside compared her to um, Murakami, the Japanese writer, and I don't know if that's just because they're Asian or because they, their prose is kind of similarly simple, but very beautiful and elegant. And then there's also sort of like a weird factor, of course. But I, w I just think this novel is so fantastic because it is oblique in terms of not giving you a direct answer for what's happening, but it also you also understand it because of the atmosphere and the small amount of details you do get. And it feels both real and surreal at the same time, the way that life can sometimes feel that way. Anyway, Han Kang, The Vegetarian, highly recommended. Um, and obviously it's incredibly well-reviewed and it won the man Booker International Prize, so you don't need to take my word for it. But I will just say, for someone who's interested in weird fiction, alienation, kind of Kafka-type stuff, or if you liked that Bartleby the Scrivener short story or something like The Yellow Wallpaper, I think this will appeal to you. And the prose is fantastic. I'm really looking forward to reading more from Han Kang. The other thing I wanted to say is that, you know, this is a new book. I rarely, very rarely like to buy new books, but I did get, pick this up at Skylight Books in Los Feliz, Los Angeles, because I like to go there sometimes and just look around and see what's new and see what the staff recommends, because their staff are really good readers and they have great taste. So if you see something recommended by someone from the staff of Skylight Books here, it hasn't uh, taken me off the rails in a bad way. So I did see that um, a staff member recommended this, and then almost always if I buy a book there and it's recommended by the staff, even if it's not the staff member who's like ringing me up, the other person has read it and they'll be like, yeah, so this one, this, this woman rang me up and she was like, I don't know about the first part, but then the second and third part really got me. And I love that about 
uh, bookstores, especially independent bookstores, there are rare gems these days. So if you're going to pick up a new book in Los Angeles, don't go to Barnes & Noble. Go to Skylight Books. Fantastic read. Thank you.